Test, test. Test, test. <coughs> test, test. Can anybody hear me? Never mind, I heard myself on my own phone. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Those of you who are tuning in already, we've got a warm welcome to the newcomers in our league. I'm going to pan the camera to them. The Idaho State University Bengals, their first ever ACHA hockey game, will be against your Weber State Wildcats. We welcome them with open arms into the league. Real quickly, we got about five minutes to go in interim in the warm-up period. We're gonna start. Five minutes to go. We're going to go over the roster for this Idaho State University team. It's a very short roster tonight. Their first ever game. That's okay, though. They had just under a year to start their program, and that can be a daunting task as it is to just get enough recruits for a season, but to get an entire to feel the team with just under a season to go. We're going to run down their goalies first. Number 33, Easton Kent. Number 66, Reed Hansen. Number 10, on the defense, Hunter Levette. Number 25, a defenseman, Clayton Ronier. Number 70, on the defense, Dusty Gardner. And number 98, rounding out the defenseman, Nash Sorensen. On their forwards, they've got number six, Christian Nadeau. He played time for the Idaho Falls Spud Kings. Number seven, Gabriel Lopez. Number 12, Riley Middledorf. Number 17, Kelton Rowick. Number 21, Nick Peterson. Number 31, Kendall Owens Olson. Number 36, Kean Combo. And number 50, Adam Ellis. That rounds out the Idaho Falls Bengals. Let's go over some of the stats for the visit the host, Weaver State Wildcats. Last weekend, Trey Hirschfield got his second shutout of the season against Utah Valley University in what was a big game for Weber State, 13 to zero. <coughs> Leading the defenseman in points, we have a joint tie between Luke Artukovic and Jack Jones. Both of them with one goal, two assists for three points. Behind them on the defense, we have Rigo Aceves, Carson Abercrombie, and Stanford Zito, with all three of them with an assist. On to the forwards. Leading the pack out of the forwards for Weber State, Nick Demchuk with two goals, three assists for five points. My apologies. I missed two players with six points. Number nine, Andrew Alonzo, and number 10, Corey Mater, each with three goals, three assists for six points leading the way. Then we've got Nick Demchuk right behind them with two goals, three assists, five points. With four points, we've got Kevin Norwood with three goals, one assist. And Rob Simmons with two goals, two assists. Then on three points, we've got Igor Khamayakov with three assists and Brian Forbear with three assists. And then rounding out the, the forwards with points, we have K 
Tater Merritt with one assist for his only point so far on the season. We also have got Tucker Thorsted with one assist. Lewis Poliquin with one goal as his one point. We have Jacoby Clark with one goal as his only point, and that rounds out the forwards for points. Other goalies that have played games are Owen Yancey, who was the starter tonight for Weber, Un Weber State. His goals against are a solid two, and his saves are a .961. Owen Yancey's one start came against a Utah State University that was stacked with talent. We'll see you back here for the start of the game as warm-ups have about 30 seconds left to go. If anybody's wondering, Weaver State will be donning their purple uniforms tonight, and ISU have a nice white and orange combo. In about 10 to 15 minutes here, we might have a slight no audio because we're gonna be trying to get our new soundboard hooked up to where we actually have headsets instead of just a snowball microphone. So give us about 15, 30 minutes. Hopefully we have it by the start of the second period at least. If not, we'll still continue to broadcast on the snowball. And folks, at about 8 o'clock, the Weber State University Wildcats women's soccer team will start their play in about down in northern Arizona. It's a nice interconference rivalry right there. So we'll be giving you live updates about our Lady Wildcats down in Arizona.
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I had to hurry and step away real quick. <coughs> to hurry and uh get them <coughs> oh my sorry about that <coughs> Again, sorry about that, folks. I had to hurry and uh, go get the pucks for the game. Oh, man. Short little bursts of running while you're sick does not equal great things, ladies and gentlemen. Just a word of advice. We'll catch you back here in about 7.45 for the puck drop. Sorry, 7.15's puck drop. We'll see you in about 7.30. We have 7 minutes, 30 seconds remaining before the game. The student section is filling up for to give ISU a very warm welcome into the ACHA world. If you guys are just tuning in, Idaho State University, the visiting team, has graced us with being their first ever hockey opponent in the ACHA world. We welcome them with open arms into the league and wish them very well on their future endeavors.
with about four minutes until the game starts, our cameraman has just appeared, and you'll never believe who it is. It's the goalie number 30, Trey Hirschfield, who's got two shutouts to his name here in the ACHA. Now, Trey, you can go ahead and talk into the mic a little bit. I'm going to ask you, what's it like being one of the top goalies in the ACHA West? Um, well, not going to lie, I'm not trying to let it get to my head. Uh, you know, I didn't. I went all season last year without a shutout. I uh, went two right in a row to start, so try not to get used to it. Try to keep on going and battling, so we'll see how it goes the rest of the season. Hey, great wise words there. Don't let it get to your head. He's certainly a goaltender who has the talent to do just that, though, is keep it rolling here as we look to write a white-hot goalie at the start of the season. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Dog, 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 dog. Three of these guys have never played hockey before organized. All right, we're going to go about, we got 2.15 left in the little startup intermission here. After tonight's game, the Weber State University will go on the road. They'll visit, on the 5th of October, the University of Providence in Great Falls, Montana. Then on the 6th, they'll play the University of Montana in Missoula. And then on the 7th, they'll play Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. And then coming back to the ice sheet at the Weber County Sports Complex for a two-game homestand against Utah Valley University and Boise State.
So real quick, fans, they're going to introduce the starting lineups. Number 10, Hunter Levitt. Number 70, Dusty Gardner. Number 7, Gabriel Lopez. Number 31, Kendall Olsen. And number 21, Nick Peterson. And in goal, number 66, Reed Henson for the ISU. For Weber. Number 37, Stanford Zito. Number seven, Cody Goodwin, rounding out the defense for Weber. <coughs> Number 77, Byron Fulbert. Number 11, Cole Van Orman. Number 18, Jacob, Jake Besnelian. And in net, number 35, Owen Yancey. <laughs> We're going to take a brief moment to honor our nation with the singing of the Star Spangled Banner. run down the coaching staff for the visiting ISU. Head coach Sean Gardner. Assistant coach Eric Neto and assistant coach Mitch Craven. Now for the home Weber State University head coach Yosh Regin. The assistant coach Jonathan Kosman. Assistant coach AJ Kapanos. And assistant coach former team legend Will Fulbert. <coughs> the cameraman has taken his position. He is ready. The refs are ready. Edwards, one of the linesmen, gets us going. Weber State controls the faceoff. ISU looking to shock the ACHA world, upsetting Weber. Weber, a shot on net goes wide. Weber State controls the puck now in the low zone, turns it over. Weber's, ISU tries to get out of their zone. They've got something going through the mid zone, gains the offensive zone now. The pass in goes behind the net, loses it behind the net. Weber State now with it in their own zone, trying to break out. The pass up through the mid, they gain the offensive zone. What will they do? Looking for options now. Wheels it around the boards. Numbers 37 Zito picks it up. Shot goes wide. Stays with it now on the rebound. Number seven. 
He can't control it. Bass goes wide. Bass back to a teammate. Connects now. 37, dancing around it. 18, shot. Save into the, the netting. The ISU goalie looked back in horror as he lost sight of the puck for that brief moment. One of the most nerve-wracking moments for a goalie when you lose sight of that piece of rubber. Here now in the offensive no zone, Weaver State tries to gain a faceoff. Weaver State controls the faceoff now, keeping it on sides was number 13, Good uh, Brown. Little chippiness hit behind the net of ISU. <coughs> Clears that puck now, Weaver State has it in their own zone. Trying to gain the offensive zone now, a little bit of a turnover. No foul, no appeal for the penalty. No penalty will be called. Shot. Goal! Weber State starts off early where they left off last week after beating UVU 13 to zero. <coughs> On the official goal call. Hamayakov gets the goal. Norwin gets the goal. Gets the assist. I'll get the absolute official call in just a moment. Shot goes wide. Jones now with it, shot, save, loose, save now. Weber State controls it in the zone. Shot, save, goes outside of the zone. This ISU goalie has been peppered so far in these first two minutes of the game. Still waiting on the official goal call. At a moment of stoppage of play, I will get that information. ISU now tries to make a pass. Will lose possession of the puck. Yancey now with it. Waves his guys forward, trying to get something going. Trying to catch ISU shorthanded. They cannot, though. Weaver State dumps the puck in, gains the neutral zone. ISU gains possession of a hard hit. Shot. Save. ISU now with it, passing has not been connecting tonight so far. Yancey now with it behind his own net, passes to a teammate. A reverse hit by Weaver State. ISU now with it, shot, save. I will get that official goal. The official goal call is Igor Hamayakov with the goal and Jake Biznillian with the assist. <coughs> Weber State now with it up the neutral zone. They gain the offensive. Shot. Score! The official goal call is number 11, Cole Van Orman, with a second assist from Jake Bisnillian. 
and Brian Fobear. <coughs> Weber State now controls this puck, gains the offensive zone in alone, is 47, shot, save. Uh, I believe the light people were not here tonight, so we just have the stadium lighting tonight. Weber State leads 2-0 with 16.09 remaining. This face-off will come to Reed Hansen's left. Weber State now controls the puck. Looking for options now as ISU turning it over in their own zone again. <coughs> Weber State now with it in the offensive zone. A shot saved by Reed Hansen. Zito now with it for Weber State over to number seven. Cody Goodwin. Cody Goodwin rings it around, gets the offensive zone for Weber State. Bisnelia now passes to Forbear. Forbear still with it now. Shot saved by Reed Hansen. Bisnelia now with it. Passes to a teammate of his. Looking for options now is Cole Van Orman. Cole Van Orman takes a shot, goes wide. Jack Jones with it now for Weber State. Weber, he dumps it in to Brian Forbear. Forbear looking for an option, almost connects with Cole Van Orman, eventually does. Cole almost connections with Forbear. Forbear now with it behind the net, up to Bisnillian. Bisnillian saved for just a moment. Thought he had it in his glove, but he did not. It goes out of the zone to be con collected by 37 Zito for Weber State, up to Jones. Jones gains the zone. Shot goes wide. Zito now with it, passing, save. An unknowing save by Reed Henson there. Weber with it now, circling the zone, looking for an option. Shot, save by Hanson. <coughs> I will try to be as Energetic and as enth enthusiastic as possibly can, but I am just getting over a cold, folks. So if I have to take a moment and mute the mic, just know I will come back shortly. Weber now with it in the offensive zone. Tangled up, still in the zone now. Number five, number five passes to a teammate. Teammate over to 80. Shot! Almost went five hole, went wide. Hit now in the Weaver's in the ISU zone. He rings it around the boards. Turns the puck over to Weavers. Espinoza. Espinoza now wheels it around the boards to 18. Bisnillian. Bisnillian back to Espinoza. Espinoza. Shot. It goes in. Espinoza gets his goal. Espinoza gets three. We're gonna find out who those assists belong to. I just need the assist. I just need the assist. 16 catch. Number 86, Isaac Espinoza. Number 86, Isaac Espinoza from 16, Kevin Norwitz for the assist. Weber State leads. 3-0 with 13.40 remaining. Weber State now with it again through neutral ice. Weber State looking for options. Shot, goal! One moment, ladies and gentlemen, as I get the official goal call. <laughs> On 
on the goal. On the goal call, we have number five, Rigo Aceves, on an assist from number 24, Rigo Aceves. We'll see if we can get that zoomed out just a little bit for you. Sorry, folks, we did get that zoomed out for you. It's 4-0 now for Weber State. During the intermission, we will go silent as always, but we'll try to get a new sound equipment. We'll hopefully have two. Weber State, the arm goes up of the official. Weber State will go on a power play. On the official penalty call, have not gotten that call yet, but number number 10 for Idaho State, Hunter Lavette. Two minutes for boarding. Weber State will go on the power play for the next two minutes. Weber State looking for options now to gain to their lead. Right now it's 4-0 with 11 55 to go. Shot score! <laughs> Weber State will add a fifth one on the official goal call here in just a moment. Jack Jones and Cole Van Orman get the assist. Corey Mater gets the goal for Weber State. <clears throat> Weber, ISU ha almost had a shot in with 2 on 0, but Weber State defense gets back and quickly snuffs that out. Weber State now in possession. Number 96, over to a teammate of his. Looking for Hamayakov. Hamayakov. This nearly in scores. It's now six zero for Weber State. Folks, Weber State is picking up where, right where they left off last weekend. <coughs> With 11-15 remaining, it's 6-0 on the official goal call in just a moment. Still waiting on that official goal call. ISU controls the puck.
Weber State with possession now. Still waiting on that goal call, folks. My apologies. 6-0 now. ISU. ISU may have a chance here. Weber State's defense snuffs it out. Hard hit there by Weber State. Couldn't see who. We. Referee watching it. Weber State now with it in the offensive zone. Shot. Save. We'll get that goal call. The official goal call, number 16, Kevin Norwood on an assist from Nick Demchuk, giving Weber a 6-0 lead with 10-17 remaining in the zone, in the game, in the intermission, in the period, sorry. Like I said, folks, I am just getting over a cold. Weber State controls it now. This is really a, a moment now where you have such a big lead through so early in the game, you will try to get some people who haven't played a lot some game time now 45 now with it shot goes wide <clears throat> Weber State still controls a shot save Reed makes a save Our linesman will get us going now. Weber State wins the draw. Over to Goodwin. Goodwin looking for options. Shot! For a moment, it looked like it was in the back of the net. Weber State possesses it now. It's picked off by ISU. Will we have a penalty? We may have a penalty. It looks like... Never mind. It's going to be a power play for Weber State. As number 25, Clayton Ronier. Clayton Ronier goes two minutes for interference. Nine forty to go in the first period. Weber up six zero. We'll go on a power play. Weber State one and zero on the power play tonight. Or was giving an explanation to Clayton Ronier, who wanted an explanation as to how that was interference. Weber State controls it now. Faubert looking for options. Back to Faubert. Faubert. The pass goes wide. Weber State will still retain possession. Weber State dancing around now with it. Bisnalian. Bisnalian looking for an option up to Alonzo. Alonzo with a pass to 16. Shot, save, shot, goal! Just a moment. But Weber State goes 2-0 on the power play, making it 7-0. Igor Hamayakov and Brian Faubert get the assists on a Kevin Norwood goal as it's 7-0. With 8 53 remaining here in one. Weber State now with it in the offensive zone yet again. Shot saved by Connor Hansen. Sorry, Reed Hansen.
He has not had much fortune in the save category tonight, but he comes up with it there. With 8.43 remaining still, Weber State 7, ISU 0. Weber, ISU with it now, almost said Weber State. Looking for an option now, they dump the puck. They get it in. What will they do with it? Looking for options now. Yancey has to get down into his butterfly position for the first time tonight. Weber State gains possession of it again. Has a breakaway pass, did not go. Corey Mater still dancing. Tries a Michigan goal. What more do you do with when you're up 7-0? A little chippy now from ISU and Weaver State. Almost losing possession was ISU. ISU gained possession now. Seven has it, dumps it. Number 18 for Weaver State will pick it up. Up to 77, who's alone for Bear. Passes to a teammate, shot goes wide. Almost 8-0 there for Weaver. 7.41 here, ISU has possession, and they've not gained in the offensive zone. They turned it over on a missed pass. Two on two hockey, shot. Save there on the line by a defenseman. He has one more save than his own goalie. Weber State now with it. They dump the puck in, looking for options, circling. Cole Van Orman passes, shot. Goal. It is eight to zero. We'll get the official goal call. ISU gets the possession off the faceoff. Brian Faubert gets his third assist of the night. Cole Van Orman gets his first assist. And I believe the goal was Jake Bisnillian, number 18. 8-0 eight with 6.45 remaining here in the period. Shot goes wide. I'll tell you what, folks, it is really hard being a goalie in any league of hockey, but especially here in ACHA. Weaver State now dancing, shot, loses sight of it. ISU turns the puck over, shot, tip. Connor Reed Hansen has a save yet again. Seventy-seven viewers tonight on tonight's broadcast. They're seeing a 8-0 thumping in the first period by Weber State over the ISU Bengals. Weber State controls it again. Shot. It's tipped. Reed had a read on it. Weber State still controls it, dumps it in. ISU picks it up now. Weber State quickly gets a turnover in their favor. Shot. Goal for Weber State. Sorry, folks. When we have this much of a of a goal palooza, if you will, I have to do like several things at once. Nine zero. On the official goal call in just a moment. Is this for Pete at all? Can you hear each other? Number seven, number one. Number 16, Kevin Norwood. For another weird goal. 
Norwood and Goodwin get the assist. Igor Hamayakov gets his second of the night. Weber State now with a shot tipped in front by a defenseman. The crowd, we're about. The refs are gonna talk about it. The crowd is a little lower than we're used to, but right now it looks like the goal will stand as we go 10-0 for Weber. Still waiting on that official goal call. In fact, get, get the other headsets. From here on out, folks, we will no longer kill the lights on a goal as a show of respect. The goal is waved off. I will reset the score as we are still 9-0. As we ask ourselves, why is it nine instead of 10? We're not gonna ask too many questions though. As there seems to be some upset ISU fans in the crowd, I do understand that feeling though. I have watched my teams get thumped and it's not fun. the one that I have. No, the red one, right? No, no. My other one. What? Weber State now with it. Looking for that 10th goal to come fairly now as it's 9-0 with five minutes remaining in the first. This okay. Shot tipped in. ISU now trying to get out of their own zone. Weber State quickly gets possession of it. Shot saved by Reed Hansen. This All right, folks, we are just getting a little bit of uh, an info here on our new, our new equipment here. Weaver State now with it. Sorry if you did overhear the chatter going on behind me. We're just trying to improve the broadcast for you guys. Weaver State now with it. Number 18, Biznalian, looking for a score. It almost goes in, but would that one have been waved off as well? Weaver State now with it. Goes wide. 18 now with it, picks it up for Weaver. Dumps that into 11. 11 passes off to Fobert, number 77. Back to Van Orman. Van Orman tips. It goes wide. ISU, Weber State will still retain. <coughs> Weber State now looking to maintain possession in this ISU zone. It goes wide. Espinoza will retreat. Espinoza passes up to Fobert. Fobert now looking for his options. Dumps to Bisnelian. Bisnelian dumps. Almost an on-the-knee falling goal there for Weber State. Weber State possesses. They're looking for options now. Circling. Zito now with it. Zito takes a shot. It's tipped. ISU has two on two hockey. They gain the offensive zone. Yancey clears. Yancey. Dumps it in, no icing call as 25 made an attempt of play. 3.20 remaining. The lights is a show of respect as we have a major lead so far. We want to be good sports about it. Weber State, ISU gains possession in their own zone. Pushed off the puck though, Weber State will gain possession now. Weber State still with it now, pass over to Hauser, Hauser gains the zone. 
Shot saved by Reed Hansen. Almost let it loose. 2.52 remaining. Weber stayed up. 9-0. Weber State strategizing right here in the offensive zone. Azadi will go into for the faceoff for Weber. He wins that faceoff, but an ISU player wins it overall. He quickly is depossessed by Weber. Weber has it now in the offensive zone. Weber State, a little bit of sloppy play there, lets it go. ISU now with it, trying to build. The ISU team, Weber State is quickly picked off by Weber State. Weber State with possession. Weaver State now looking for options. They dump in the puck, 45 goes after it. He will win the race. Shot, Reed with a save, loses sight of it though. The puck is clear there, only as far as Hauser. Hauser retreats to get it now. Weaver State through the neutral zone. Weaver State gains the offensive zone, two minutes remaining. ISU still has not made a goalie change. Still Reed Hansen, but I do see movement from the other goalie. Puck is cleared and no icing is the call. That was tip, no icing. Espinoza will get to it. Sorry, that was... Nick Demchuk there for Weber, my apologies. ISU now has it, they're trying to gain something. A pass goes wide, Weber State will repossess. Quickly one man change for ISU, offsides. Right now is a call, ISU will have to retreat, they do. The puck. <coughs> a hand pass, we go for a break. Ah, they may have changed their goalie. Number 33, Easton Kent, now in for ISU. Thank you viewers for pointing that out. I just saw black helmet, black helmet. Easton Kent is in now. ISU gains the face off, but will be quickly depossessed by Weber. ISU to pick up the loose puck though. One minute remaining. ISU turns it over in their own zone. The puck goes loose, though. Weber State now with it. Weber State up to Igor Hamayakov. Hamayakov with a pass. Goal! No. Sorry folks, my my helping hand here was not here for the the conversation of no more lights dimming. On the official goal call will come momentarily though. As it's 10-0 with 45 left to go. Kevin Norwood and Igor Hamayakov get the two assists. Nick Demchuk gets the goal, 10-0, with 25 seconds left to go. It's 10-0 here, 20 seconds remain. If you're Idaho State, you just try to get out of the period and regroup. <coughs> Dancing around, still no call. It looks no goal. Easton Kent has a save. Easton Kent a little slow to get up, but he seems to be okay. Maybe just a puck stuck in the pads, needed a quick second to wait and see if he was hurt or not. Weaver State will gain possession of the puck. Shot goes, saved by Easton Kent. 3.1 left in the period. The score is 10 to zero in Weber State's favor. Shot, it's in! 
That hit the net, but no call. It won't stand. There was no signal by the refs. The ref shaking his head no. It hit the back of the net, but no goal call by the official. At the end of one, we have Weber, 10. Idaho State University, zero. Only about three players on this Idaho State roster have not played organized hockey. This is their first game in ACHA. Most of their roster has played hockey before. We're gonna cut back. We're gonna cut the audio. I'm gonna rest my voice as I am just getting over a cold. We have about 14 minutes left in intermission.
I believe only three players came from the Spud Kings organization. They have two kids from Utah. Uh, let's let me go over their roster real quick. They've got Reed Hansen, Clayton Ronier, Christian Nadeau, Gabriel Lopez, Nick Peterson, Kendall Olson are all from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, they've got Riley Middledorf from Chubuck, Idaho. Adam Ellis from McCall, Idaho. Dusty Gardner from Harriman, Utah. And Nash Shornson from Salt Lake City, Utah. I don't have a place of origin for Easton Kent, Hunter Lavette, or Kane Com uh, Combo. I'm going to assume it's Idaho Falls. But I will say to the viewers here who are tuning in for ISU, this is going to be a, a very familiar story. You know, at the start of the season, the Spud Kings last year weren't the, you know, weren't the cream of the crop like they are now. Towards the end of the year, they grew into each other. They knew how to play with each other. It's going to be a lot better towards the end of the year, I believe. Especially as, <coughs> in my opinion, Idaho State University, Utah State University, Weber State University, Utah Valley University are all in prime position what I'm going to call the Northern Colorado University sweepstakes. If you guys aren't familiar of that situation, the University of Northern Colorado has suspended their hockey program for the next three years because of an investigation done by the school that found underage drinking at a college party hosted by the team and some hazing that threatened student body harm, uh, which is unacceptable. So they are, uh, we have a lot of kids on that team that are looking for a, a landing place for the second semester of the year. And ISU could be a very big landing spot for that. So I'm going to guess second semester, the team's going to be a lot different. As long as they are within the transfer deadline date, they should be able to play the remaining of the year and postseason. <coughs> We've got about three minutes left in intermission here. 10-0, um, the score. As a show of good sportsmanship, we are no longer going to kill the lights after Weber State goal. If they do score in the second and third period, we will not kill the lights. Um, after, I'm going to say this, if Weber State gets to 15, I'm going to stop flashing the goal animation on the broadcast. Uh, I'm just going to update the score. Uh, just as a sign of good sportsmanship, I just... <laughs> so, uh, I can think of a lot of great reasons to move to Pocatello, especially with the rink that Idaho State University is playing in, the Mountain America Center. Uh, if you ever have a chance to go up to Idaho Falls and go to that venue, it is absolutely beautiful. A great, great venue to play hockey at. I traveled up there last season for an Ogden Mustangs Idaho Falls Spud Kings game and it it was a great time. The fans were so lovely up there. They were so welcoming. So that's why I really I will really try not to bash Idaho State especially because the fans and people up there in Idaho Falls where a lot of their fans are from are just lovely people. So we have about a minute 45 to go. <coughs> They have a big recruiting tool up there, though, and that is the venue they play hockey at. Uh, it is about... I want to say it's about 3,000 seats. Let me hurry and change that battery before the second period. We're going to lose the camera for about 30 seconds.
<laughs> New battery is in. And yes, the Idaho State fans are loud up there in that Mountain America Center. They are absolutely loud. And just overall lovely people. As we get ready here, I'm trying to uh, We have a goal change out there for Weber State. Owen Yancey has been pulled. Landon Palmer, number 57, our cameraman for the first night, who did great, will be in there for the second period. But hey, we've got that battery change for the second period. We're gonna watch Landon Palmer now. Get ready. We're waiting to get going here, just waiting on that Idaho State University team. As they take the ice now, it appears they're giving a either warm welcome from a large traveling Idaho State fan base or the Weber State fans are just welcoming them with open arms for showing up for a second period after going down 10-0 in the first. Landon Palmer now will be in it for your Wildcats. Still waiting to find out who's going to be in net for Idaho State. It's going to be Easton Kent. This is now where you look at the two benches of Weber State and Idaho State. You can really see the difference in size and what length of program time can do in recruiting. You get more players. It's going to be an icing going to be brought back for a face-off for the first time tonight in the Weber zone. So, Weber State here looking for a defensive zone draw, face off warning. Weber will gain possession in their defensive zone. Tucker Thorsted now with it for Weber State. Clears that puck up to Alonzo. Alonzo now with it. Pass is tipped by ISU. ISU with it now in their own zone. Looking for something to go their way tonight. <laughs> Weber State now with it in their own in the offensive zone. The puck is cleared there by Idaho State. No icing on the call. Weber State picks up that the puck and is looking for options now. Weber State, Idaho State clears the puck down. Icing 
waved off by the official there. Idaho State with it now in the offensive zone. What will they do? They're looking for options. Shot saved by Landon Palmer. Another shot saved by Landon Palmer. <coughs> Already tonight, Landon Palmer's had to do more work than Owen Yancey with two saves back to back. Weaver State now with it, up to the neutral ice. He breaks through, it's gonna be shot saved by Easton Kent. Six now with it there for Weaver, pass, shot saved by Kent again. Face off will come to his right. 18-18 remaining in the second period. This is about where Weaver started their scoring, their scoring reign in the first period. <laughs> We're still working on our new sound equipment though, so give us a moment. We may have that switched over about halfway through the period or even start a third period. We're gonna have no call on the ice. Look, looked like it could have been a penalty either way. I didn't see it saved there by Kent. Did he score? The, the ref is waving it off, but it looked like he dropped it in his net. They're gonna, no call is the call on the ice. It's gonna stand, but it definitely looked like Easton Kent had the puck in his glove and dropped it behind the line. But who am I to tell? I did not have the best angle on it though, the ref did. Weaver State now with it in the offensive zone. Weaver State looking for options, shot goes wide. Weaver State now with it behind their own net, shot. Loses sight of it was Kent. Kent looking for that puck. He gets it. Weaver State now with it in their own in the offensive zone. Pass up to his teammate. He's looking for options. Shot can't go for Igor Hamayakov. Hamayakov dumps the puck in for 80. 80. 16. Now with it. Shot. Goal by Igor Hamayakov. If I'm correct, that's a hat trick by Igor Hamayakov. Seventeen oh five remaining. <coughs> we were eleven, Idaho State University zero. Still waiting on that official goal call, but to me it looked like Igor Hamayakov got his third. Heimakov gets his hat trick. Norwood with an assist. And Demchuk gets the secondary assist. So Igor Hamayakov with his hat trick goal. There we go. How's that? Perfect. 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 And if you are hearing that little chat behind me, we are it appears to get our new sound board getting good. We may switch over here about second. Halfway through the second period, it'll sound good, folks. Weaver stay with it now. Shot goes saved by Kent. Weaver State now with it now. Idaho State University now with it trying to get out of their zone. Weber State now with it. Goal! Huh? 
Ryan Fulbert gets his goal. Jack Jones on the assist. And Cole Van Orman gets his assist. The captain finally breaks his goal drought. Weber State now with it. The pass to the slot can't connect. Shot, score, 13-0. On the official goal call, we're still waiting for it, but we'll get it to you soon. Corey Mater unassisted, 13-0 for Weber State. Weber with it now. Goes wide, Weber now with it, looking for options. Shot saved, another shot. Tipped into the netting. Weaver State looking to add on to their goal lead. Shot tipped, goes wide. Brown now with it for Weaver. A shot tipped, goal for Weaver State. With that goal, we have officially surpassed our last weekend's game against Utah Valley. That was a 13-0 win. Now 14-0 with 15 minutes remaining. Weber State has possession. Still waiting on the official goal call. Idaho State trying to show some grit right now. Maybe try to get a goal on the board. Shot saved by Kent. <coughs> Rebound will be controlled by Weber State. A hit there by an ISU player on a Weber State player. There's a whistle. Everyone's kind of looking up to see what that was for. Looks like we're gonna be getting some line changes for ISU. These players are gonna be feeling a lot of fatigue now as not a long depth for Idaho State University. These players are gonna be feeling it right about now. Weber State controls the draw in the offensive zone. Looking for options there, pass up to 13. Shot, save by Kent. Flashes the leather of his glove. Pick that up. 
I know what it is. that folks sorry about that i unplugged the mic by accident there. what about this <coughs> a big hit there shot goes in sorry for the audio folks i accidentally pulled the cord out of the back of the mic it's now 15 to 0 
All right, folks, we're gonna try to have our new sound out. We're gonna have no audio for a brief moment. About now, because I can see it right here if it's working or not. That should work. <coughs> Face off will come now. It looks like to be a penalty on ISU. Not sure what happened. We were trying to get our new sound up. I did not see what the call was. But it's kind com combo for tripping two minutes. Weaver will go on a power play. They have gone two for two tonight on the power play. Can they make it a three for three effort? Shot goes wide. Weber State will retreat. Trey Hirschfeld getting a little into it now as he likes to rep his boys. <coughs> Shot saved by Kent. The rebound controlled there by Weber. How's that? Can you guys hear me now? Shot. They go three for three on the power play. It's 16 to zero. Weaver's now three and zero on the power play. Have yet to go on the penalty kill. Frustration starting to become inevitable on that ISU bench. They are not happy with going down 16 to zero. A player will come off. Hopefully he's okay. It was number six, Christian Neto. Hopefully he is okay. We wish him all the best. That's probably the saddest part of the game of hockey is injuries. And we don't like it. Players don't like it. The parents probably don't like it the most. Weber State now controls the faceoff. Dumps it in. Icing will be the call. That faceoff will come down to the Weber defense zone. I'm going to say this. I haven't say it, said this yet. But Landon Palmer has some beautiful purple pads. Robin? Oh. They are Robbie, so Robert Brennan's old pads are what Landon Palmer are using. They are a beautiful Weber purple, gray and white with a little bit of black in there. They look fabulous. Weber controls that draw in the defensive zone. <coughs> it dumps in now, 80, no icing call. Looking for a pass, can't connect. 
Weber State. How, how about now? Because if you do this, like so. How is it now? Sorry, folks. It looks like I kind of, when I unplugged it, I accidentally changed the setting on the mic as well. It should be a little louder as it was earlier. A save there for ISU. It also could be my voice is starting to go more as I am getting over a cold. I have cough drops here. I'm going to pop one in right now while I try to find a score from the Weber State women's soccer game going down in Northern Arizona to kind of clear out some of that dead air that I kind of tend to have. <clears throat> Weber State with it now behind the net. Looking for options now. Right in front. Van Orman looking for options. Passes to Jones. Jones to seven. Back to Van Orman. Can't control it. Weber State looking for another option. Trying to add to their lead. Shot, pass, shot, score. The game is loading right now on my phone. We do like to support our other teams here at Weber State, especially our women's athletics. Weber State with it now in the offensive zone. Save there by Kent. Still a lot of fans and students in attendance, even though the score is a bit lopsided. Sorry, folks, Weber State wins the draw in the offensive zone. Still looking for options now. Idaho State may have an opportunity to break out. They gain the offensive zone. Shot doesn't get through to Palmer. A second shot does, but a save. Comes in the back, Weber State has possession now. Shot. <coughs> Save by Kent. Again, sorry folks, I am trying to nurse my voice the best I can. We have stopped updating the in-rink scoreboard. Score update from Northern Arizona. Shot, goal, score for Weber State. One moment, folks. That's the 18th goal <clears throat> for Weber State. Trying to get that in-ring scoreboard updated at the ice sheet. Weber State now with it going up through the offensive zone is Tucker Thorstead. Thorstead pass to Alonzo. Hits the back netting, looks like it went in. As I was saying, shot, score. 19 to zero.
I have a score update from Northern Arizona for women's soccer. Weber State on the road at Northern Arizona University not faring the same as the hockey team. Weber State is down 2-0 in Northern Arizona. I just checked, folks. Yes, we are 19-0. Making sure I had that correct timeout to ISU. <clears throat> We're going to be tuning into some hockey action. A little score update from Pueblo, Colorado, where the Ogden Mustangs, who we share the rink with here, are playing the Pueblo Bulls. At the end of the second period, Ogden three, Pueblo two. So the two tenants in this hockey rink are winning their games right now in good fashion. Weber State wins the draw. ISU will try to get something to work. From what I understand, we were gonna update the in-rink score at the ice at the period break. ISU trying to get something to go their way. Weber State so far has had their way with just about everything. Still no penalty calls against Weber State. Shot, score, that breaks the 20 goal mark for Weber State. For the 20th goal, ISU gets possession of the puck, trying to get something going, hopefully get a goal in. If they get a goal, folks, I will genuinely celebrate. Who will get the goal first for Idaho State University? That Right now, you're hoping anybody. Weaver State with possession now with through the neutral zone. Now with it dumps back into their zone, Idaho State now with possession of the puck. Pass goes wide. Weber State will intercept. Weber State up through the neutral ice. <clears throat> this is really that moment where you start to play those guys who probably ride the bench a little more for Weber State. Seeing what they can do, maybe earn a spot up. Shot goes wide. Tracking back now is Brown. But that is the one disfactor is Weber does rotate their bench a lot. So a lot of these guys do get ice time. <clears throat> ISU now with it alone, 36, shot, a rebound, almost no. The second shot goes wide. Weber State has possession now. A good opportunity for Idaho State, way better than the first period. There's another goal, 21 to zero. Four fifty-one remaining in the second period. 
21 to zero. Folks, we do apologize. If you are an Idaho State fan, remember this is their first official game. They had just under a year to get this program going. I think they announced in late October. So they had from when they announced to get a roster and maybe a little benefit of that is, is what you're seeing now by shorting yourself. Weaver State now with it, skating through, looking for options. Shot, save, rebound, goes wide. <coughs> Kent lo loses his stick. Weber State possesses. Kent getting up slowly, but he's okay. He has been unreal tonight so far with what he has saved. He's made some good shows of some saves. Weber State now with it, looking for an option shot. Goes in, it's 22 to zero. I just got informed the record in ACHA is 30-0, and it's currently 22-0. We are on pace to beat that record, ladies and gentlemen. Weber State, pass goes wide. They'll have to retreat. 340 to go. Weber State now with it. At what point? <clears throat> Do you notify your guys? Shot, goal, 23. his first goal of the year I believe that might have been Evan Seward but I'm not sure if it was <clears throat> he finally gets a point he was un he went pointless last year if he did get that goal we are proud of him 325 remain Sorry, folks. Hasn't been really a nail biter from start to now. It's been all Weber State. And unfortunately, Idaho State fans, tomorrow night does not get any easier. Another shot, 24. As I was saying, fans, oh, it looks like I was just informed by who I believe is Evan's mother. Unfortunately, it was not Evan who scored. He is out injured. I am so sorry to hear that. He is a great player, and I hate to have my information wrong. I, I sincerely apologize for that. Hopefully, he has a speedy recovery. As I was saying to those Idaho State fans who were still watching, Tomorrow night does not get any easier as you guys travel up to Logan to play the other <clears throat> good hockey program in the state of Utah in Utah State University who beat Utah Valley 13-2 last weekend as well. It is not looking good here. Weber State turns it over. Idaho State now looking for something. Logan Landon comes out. Weber now with it. 
I just took another cough drop. Hopefully my voice gets a little better now. Kent with a save. Two minutes, eight seconds remain here in the second period. Scores 24 to zero. Weber State controls, looking for an options. Weber still looking. Jones passes down to his teammates. His teammates passing around, dancing around this Idaho State defense. Puck comes out. Norwood has it. Norwood passes up to Espinoza. Espinoza. Passes to Norwood. Norwood now with it. Has Jones and Norwood close by. Pass is up to number 80 in Demchuk. Weaver State loses possession there. Quickly repossesses it. Well, that's great, Lor Lorna. Hopefully he is back next week. Can't wait to officially call him on a game. Number 91, hopefully coming back next week for Weber. 45, sorry, 50 seconds left in the second period. The score is 24 to zero. We have stopped the in-rink scoreboard as a courtesy to our opponents. But the scoreboard on the broadcast will go up for you viewers who will go back and replay this for all the goals as so many people in Ogden like to do. Weber State dancing around, 25 left to go now in the second. Passes over, almost tipped by Idaho State. Shot. Goes wide. I come, I come to watch the first Weber State hockey game and this is what I come to. Looking for options now as Weaver State shot. Kent makes the save. He just had to fill time. Puck is dropped. There was a whistle. They may put more time on the board. It does not look they are going to do. The end of the second period, 24 for Weber, zero for Idaho State. We'll see you back here for the third period.
Christmas. fans we are back for the start of the third period we were trying to figure out our audio issue um, our new audio we just need a few more few more minutes to get it underway we're just gonna finish the game out with the snowball mic for those of you who are wondering we have stopped the in rink scoreboard We have stopped the in-ring scoreboard as a courtesy to our opponent. The scoreboard in the rink is frozen at 13-0, but the actual score is 24-0. We found out during intermission the ACHA record is 30-0. Let's see if we're in store for some history tonight. Weber State wins the draw, quickly picked up by Idaho State now. Idaho State just looking for something to get them going as a program, as a whole. We've had another goalie change. Shot saved. We thank you to the 70 of you who are still with us for tonight. Weber State looking for options in the offensive zone. Now in net for Idaho State is number 66, Reed Hansen. It looks like he will finish the game for Idaho State. Weber Rover Tree with the puck after almost getting depossessed by Idaho State. Gains the offensive zone. They'll go in for a change for Weber. <coughs> number seven dancing around it. Is it Idaho State picks it up now, up through the neutral zone. Weber will quickly dispossess them and go on the attack. Most of the fans have started to find their way to the exit as it has really not been a strong nail-biting contest. Aceves now with it for Weber. Dangles, shot off the post, no goal. At this moment, I believe just the main goal for Weaver is to try to break that 30-0 <coughs> ACHA record. Weaver now with it. They have 18 minutes to just score six goals to tie the record. Frozen by Reed Hansen. Let's go into a little score updates <coughs> from around Ogden Sports. Still loading on an ESPN update for Weber State Women's Soccer. That game should be wrapping down now. Weber State with it now behind the net. Looking for options, they are. Behind the net. Passing is Weber. It goes right into that side right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. I have a score update with 11.30 to go in the third period from Pueblo. The Ogden Mustangs are up 4-3. I won't do it back yet. No, I won't. <coughs> And now I will load up that ESPN as I'm just trying to find something to talk about for the next 17 minutes. Weaver State still with it now, looking for something. Let's talk about... <laughs> Idaho State with it now. They're looking for something. He gets depossessed. Weaver State now with the puck, now looking for options, trying to potentially break a goal scoring record in the ACHA. Corey Mater now with a Weber shot blocked by Hansen. 
We are loading that score now from Northern Arizona where the Weber State women's soccer team is taking on the Northern Arizona Weber State Wild. No goal. The score update from the 38th minute of play. Northern Arizona is up 3-0 on the women on the women's Weber State hockey team. Weber State soccer team, my apologies. Weber State now with it now in their own zone, passing around to Espinoza. Espinoza now looking for options. Number eight with it now for Weber. <coughs> I heard a rumor that a lot of these guys have started to switch the stick hand that they've been that they're dominant with. If they're a righty, they're shooting lefty, and if they're a lefty, they're shooting righty now for Weber State. I personally don't like that. It seems a bit a bit unsportsmanlike to me, but if it works, it works. Weber State now with it now. Can't corral the puck. It goes wide. <laughs> a big hit behind the net ref looking at it no call if you're Idaho State University you were just trying to get something shot goal 7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-
12 minutes remain. Weaver, the puck is loose. Idaho State will pick it up. Deep possessed for a moment there by Weaver. Idaho State looking to get something going. The puck is loose into the corner zone of the Idaho State. Idaho State now with it behind their own net. They try to wheel it up. Gets turned over. In possession now is Weaver. Zito dumps it in. Pass is picked off. Weaver State now with it now up to Zito. Looks to be numbers in Weaver's favor. <clears throat> Looks to be like we may just start passing around the puck for 11 minutes. No icing the call. Weaver stay with it behind their own net. They try to dig, dig it out, advance the puck. Potentially to try to break the ACHA all-time record, which is 30-0. Weaver stay with a drop pass. The passing is now becoming more just fundamental. It looks to be just potentially break the record, but don't run up the score is the goal. Even don't run up the score more than it already is. <coughs> Weaver with it now behind the Idaho State zone. Idaho State there deep possesses Weaver and clears it only as far as 86 is concerned for Weber. Isaac Espinito will dump it in for Weber. Three on one shot. Score 27 0. Three goals away from tying the record, four from breaking the record. Weaver will win the faceoff now. The score is 27-0. Nine minutes remaining here. There's still time to break the record, but I don't think that's the objective at this moment. The objective is to just bleed the time down. We have officially gone to just run the clock down. They will not stop the clock after goals or whistles. To just try to end the game as fast as possible now. The pass goes wide. Idaho State may be in for a moment here. <coughs> they can't win the foot race. Turned over, shot saved by Palmer. Idaho State with their good chance on the net. 8.20 remain in the period end of the game. Weber State now with it. They have the numbers. Quickly snuffed out by the Idaho State defense. Idaho State has three on two. Shot saved by Palmer. Seven fifty remain in the game. A large majority of the student and fan sections have left for the night, but a still sizable amount remain. Weber State now in. Zito, two on one. Shot goes off the post and wide. <coughs> Goodwin now with the puck for Weber State. 7.20 remain. Weber State looking for an option now. Idaho State with possession quickly depossessed by Weber. 
Shot tipped by an Idaho State defender. Weber State will maintain possession and keep it onside. For the first time, there seems to be a tie-up. Weber will come away with it. Pass through the slot goes wide. Idaho State almost had a breakaway opportunity. Idaho State with it now in their own zone. The pass goes wide, turned over. Weber State now possesses. Alonzo now with the puck blown for offsides. 6.20 remain. The clock still runs down. Edwards will get this game going again. The time still runs. Six minutes left. Weber State will win that draw. Alonzo now playing defense. <coughs> 550 remain. Three goals to tie the record. Four to break. Five thirty remain on the continuous rundown clock. I see looking out at the at both benches, both teams just want this game to be done as fast as possible. No icing's the call. Almost a great opportunity by ISU. He tried to deflect the pass by Palmer. Caught it. Deflected off his helmet into the wrong netting. Almost a goal for Idaho State University. <coughs> Weber State now with it, coming out of their own zone. Almost turning it over now in their own zone right in front of the net. Forty-one now with it for we were no call. And there won't be, I don't believe so. Four fifteen remain. Almost sending it into their own net. Weaver stayed in with it now. Shot save. Three fifty remain in the game. Weaver State Bench looks <coughs> to be not the so good kind of happy, and Idaho State looks to be deflated right now. Looks like we're gonna have some music for the remaining of the game. Never mind, they stopped the music. Maybe would have let this three minutes go by faster. A shot goes wide. The puck will come out. Weaver State will have to go back and get it. Landon Palmer says, I'll have none of that. He wants to save what he has right now, and I'm not gonna say the word. Three minutes here to go. Idaho State with it now in their own zone. They had some good opportunities at the end of the second and midway through the second. <clears throat> Turn it over in their own zone. Passing now as Weaver looking for options. 2.40 to go. Circling now, looking for options. Two twenty-five remain here in the game. It goes wide, down to the zone of Weber State. Weber State will skate out of their own zone with it up to Aceves. Aceves will gain the offensive zone for Weber. Shot saved. Two minutes remain here in the game. <coughs> We 
Weaver State wins that draw in the offensive zone. Shot saved by Reed Hansen. He's made some great saves here in the third period. If only he could have done that in the first period, the score would not be 27 to zero. Weaver now with it with one minute remaining. No call on the ice. Never mind. Delayed penalty on ISU. Weaver will not elect to keep. We have one minute to go. We will have a penalty against Idaho State. Number 36, Keen Combo will go in for tripping. One oh one remain. We will stay will go on a short power play now. They keep it in. Shot goes wide. Looking to keep that perfect power play. Shot goes in, 28-0. Weber State goes four for four on the power play with 34.9 remain. Idaho State looks to hopefully start out tomorrow a lot better against Utah State. Weber State now with it, 30 seconds to go. Eighteen, 15 seconds remain. Weber State now with it, shot. Won't go through, shot goes wide. <laughs> the final score, 28. For Weber State, 28. ISU, zero. Weber State just looking. We're going to do a handshake line here. Their first ever game here was here at the ice sheet. <coughs> Fans, let me reiterate to you how much of a challenging task it was. Idaho State University was given just under one calendar year to get the players they did, and they failed a roster. And unfortunately, tonight, they did not have the, the start that they wanted. Final score, 28 to zero. Folks, have a wonderful night. I'm gonna go home, rest my voice. Until next time, signing off.